Okay, so uh, congratulations, you've got a JTAG, but you can't really do anything with it yet. You need to install something, you need to install XEX menu. What you want to do is load up XBINs. As I said before, it will show as a virus, just put it, let it through your firewall, do something you need to get it through XEX. Anyway, uh, you want to click on Xbox 360 once it's loaded. It does take a while to uh, kick start into action when you first start. Let's maximize that actually. Uh, you want to go to dashboards. XCX menu, or is it XCX menu? And ooh, V1.1, that sounds about right, doesn't it? Let's drag that into desktop. Now, this is uh, 36 meg. This will take, oof, can I guess it, 5 minutes? 10 minutes. I admit my internet is shite. Anyway, um, so once I stand there, I'll come back. Show you what's going on. Okay, so now uh, XCX is downloaded. It only took me like 22 minutes because my Tesco internet. Uh, you want to right click on it and extract it as usual. And in there, you should get. Interesting. Do files. Okay, so you want to go into uh, XEX Live and just copy the copy, not cut, copy the code 999 folder. Um, download my Tweedu launcher, or if you've got USB Explorer, just use that. And plug your USB stick in. Open Drive, Data Partition, Content. Right, now if you don't have a 000 folder in here, click on Content, New Folder, and you want to type 16 zeros. 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 zeros. Oh, and click OK. Right, now in that folder uh, you want to right click and inject from the desktop, CX menu, live, oops, code 99. Ugh, tedious, inject folder. Live code nine nine nine. So then you get zero 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 code nine 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 zero zero eight back reason or eighty thousand whatever and then you've got your twenty nine megabyte uh XCX menu file just there. So that's um that's all fine and it's basically it. Plug it back into your Xbox and yeah, I'll show you what to do on there in a sec. Right, you got your files on your USB stick, you want to uh click the main Xbox button, go to game library. Load up XCX menu. And once it's loaded, uh, you want to click, I believe it's the right shoulder button. And that gets you into the uh, sort of memory uh, of it. Uh, it says HDD top right. Uh, you want to press Y and go down to create. Uh, this is going to be the folder that you're going to create. That's going to put, you're going to put the uh, disk image in. Uh, just call it Modern Warfare 2 or MW2 or whatever you want uh, and then you see it creates a folder so then open it up and click Y again, you go to copy DVD now this is important, uh, when you click copy DVD the DVD tray will open uh, you want to obviously put Modern Warfare 2 in there but don't press the eject button to close it you want to push it closed with your hand um, and only when it started spinning do you want to click confirm and that will make sure that it actually uh, does burn perfectly uh, it take, ooh, I think it take about half an hour to burn it to the HDD or well, hard drive. I don't know why I'm calling it HDD. Uh, but yeah, once it's done, you get all these files on of your hard drive. And uh, yeah, next steps on the PC. Okay, so you just downloaded uh, Call of Duty onto your hard drive. What you want to do now is insert some uh, files so you can get it actually working and online uh, and everything like that. Um, for the love of God, just make sure that you don't plug in your Ethernet or your wireless adapter. Whilst you're doing these stages, you m it'd be so frustrating if you just lost a key vault or whatever was on there already, assuming there is one on there already, uh, and then it's not already gone. Um, it would be very frustrating if you happen to sort of test the connection or anything like that. So just just leave it unplugged from the internet. It's probably the best and the safest method. Anyway, what you want to do now is grab a USB stick, just any old USB stick, and drag and drop 
these four files, which there will be a download link for in the description, uh, into there. And then take it out. Uh, yeah, any USB stick will do. Not a, um, a formatted one from the Xbox, just a regular one. So, uh, yeah. After that, you want to load up XCX menu and, well, I'll take you over to the Xbox. Okay, so you just put the COD files on your USB stick. Uh, you want to go back into XX menu and you want to press X and you get this little menu up here. Click on USB 0 or USB 1 and you'll see the four files that are on your USB stick. You want to press Y on the, both of the TU files or well one at a time but you know what I mean and you want to paste it into the cache folder. Okay, So that's X and click Y on the file copy X again HDD 1 cache folder and Y paste so then you're going to have both of those in the cache. Uh, you now want to press X again and go back to USB 0. And copy the default mp.exe uh, by clicking Y on it and copy. HDD1, Modern Warfare 2 folder, and just paste it into that folder. Uh, you do want to overwrite it. X again, back to USB 0, copy the copost.gfx and stick that in the Modern Warfare 2 folder also. There you go. Okay, so uh, you've now got a COD that you can actually play. Uh, it's not modded yet because you haven't put the modded files in there. This is just to get it working. Uh, next video is going to be on creating the patch so that you can do all your own shit and whatever. But as you can see, you're now working uh, from the HDD, you don't need to insert a disc at all to run it all off the hard drive. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.